Hello everybody, this is Isan. Um, I would like to show you in a quick video how to use the Triton Lab website and the Triton Lab tool. So we go on the Triton Lab website and this is the website. Um, we choose the English language to get it a bit easier for you. And good man. This is the English website. So the first thing you can see is important is status of the lab. This means um, how many samples we need to test in the week. Um, if this sign is green, will take like will take um, about one or two days until you receive your results online um, when the sample arrived. And if it's yellow, it will take something about four or five days. And if red, it will take something about um, one week. Just to let you know. Um, it's depending on how many tests we, we have in, in the week. Um, I don't think I need to explain the register stuff. Um, this is quite self-explaining, so we go directly to log in and type in username and password and log in. Okay, so when you logged in, you can see, the, see this area in here. This is your Chrome administration area. Um, on the right, and side you have your user ID which is very important we'll explain it in a few seconds and in this area you have all your aquariums um, normally hobbies having like one or two aquariums um, but public aquaria or um, retailers often have more so um, we give you the opportunity to put in every tank you have under one ID this makes things really easy for you um, so in the case of a normal hobbyist you have just one aquarium and this will be your user ID and A. Um, every other aquarium you add, you'll add a new letter to it. So what we need when you, what you should do um, when you send us a sample is put in the letter and the number. So we can 100% identify which aquarium it is. I'll explain why. Um, when you um, create a new aquarium, you will be asked about the filling quantity of the tank. And this is very important because of the calculations that will follow. So please be as precise as you can with this amount, because as precise you are in here, as precise as the machine is when it's calculating your dosing amounts. So this is a name you can choose on your own, it's just for you for identification of your tank. Good. So let's go and see what we can do in a single area then. Go on show. And you will end up in an aquarium single view for this aquarium with this ID, this name and this is the filling quantity to make sure. So you will see in here the ICP and HPLC um, test results in a drop down menu. So when you go, let's see we have HPLC, no we don't have any tests for this one now and now we have ICP and we have a couple of tests. So um, the latest test is always showing up directly and the other tests will be with date in here so you can just choose the date and choose which one you put in so we have a lot of tests right now in here we'll choose this one and click on show so when we're now on the single view for evaluation ICP OES and um, you can see directly that we have divided all the test results in groups it's making things a bit clearer. Um, you can see the groups over here. This is the unwanted heavy metal group and the macro elements group, the lithium group and the iodine group and so on. Um, it's just a bit clearer like this. I will go on and explain the columns. So you have the column um, with the element. This is the element like you can find in a periodic system. Um, you can see it in here. You have the column with the analysis, so this is your current water parameters in this column here. You have the set points that are made by me. Um, you have the deviation, so 
a calculation about deviation between these two. You have the warning lamp that is very important, so we'll explain this later. And you have always the filling quantity of the tank because you need to look at this one when you see the dosage to be sure this is the right tank. Um, the dosage I will explain a bit later. So let's go with this one. Um, there are some things that should be explained. The set point for the unwanted heavy metals, for example. Um, people are asking why this is 0 0.1 microgram per liter. And um, this is because the computer will not calculate if there is written 0. So it should be 0, but it's impossible for me to put it in. Don't care about it. If this sign is green, everything is fine. Um, there are some other things in here you can directly see um, the set point of sodium is is higher than actually in the tank so it's saying the percentage is minus 10 percent um, but it's not showing any dosage this is because we don't have sodium to dose and it's fine like that you shouldn't go crazy on this one but it is showing you your um, a bit your salinity. So you can see 10%, 9%, 9%, all to less, all these macros are to less. So you can see a bit that your salinity is low. The same thing is when all of them are too high, the salinity is also too high. Um, you check this, if everything is the same 10% too high or too low, then you know salinity is too high or too low. Um, what you can see here also is the warning lamp. This is what I want to explain to you next. The warning lamps is showing you um, directly easy where you are with your tank and where you should be. So you can see that these all are green um, and like this one the calcium is already yellow um, and it's just 11 milligram to less and already yellow. This is because if you have lower calcium it's more important um, or more dangerous to your tank than if you have a higher volume. You know it will be green if you're 11 um, milligram too high but if you're 11 milligram too low it's directly yellow. Um, the same thing with red is quite fast red so just to let you know. Um, and you have something else in here, it's at the bottom, it's a summary of all your arrows in the tank. You will need that when it's going for the dosing to the tank because um, we can't put in for all the elements everything you should do as an instruction. So we create a error correction sheet. This error correction sheet you can download on our website, on the Triton Lab website. And um, it will tell you when you have your error, you just look at the sheet. I will explain this in, in another video also. You look at the sheet and see, okay, I'll need to do this and that. Um, the same counts for the dosage. I'll show you the dosage area. So this is the dosage area. Um, the columns are two, uh, one column with dosage once and dosage daily. Important thing is you can see in here dosage once for for example magnesium or potassium is one liter at once but this is not meaning you should put it at once you need to always check the error correction sheet for the maximum dosage of this element um, per day and then divide it. So let's say potassium will be 100 milliliter a day uh, for a 2,500 liter tank, um, then you need to dose this 11 days because you, every day you are only able to put in 100 milliliter. Um, but I will also explain this in the in the uh, error correction sheet video. So just to let you know. Then there is a daily dosage that is not for every element possible. So you have them, for example, in here. Um, we have vanadium, zinc, mangan, iodine, which when they are less should be dosed daily. That means you dose once to get to the set point with a 3 milliliter, for example, for the vanadium in here. And then 
afterwards you dose daily 0.2 milliliter a day or let's say um, one milliliter every five days or something to make it easier um, the same counts for all the elements that are showing up the do daily dosage um, I think this is quite all for this video um, I hope I have everything um, thanks for watching guys and hopefully see you next video cheers